Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you will hear me because this micro is not the ideal one. So uh, I would like to speak first of all about uh, our contribution to the Bologna uh, process. Uh, I am the head of unit of the Erasmus and Jean Monnet unit at the executive agency. We are the executive agency of the European Commission and we are entrusted with the centralized management of the Erasmus and Jean Monnet program. Uh, as part of our work program is the management of the uh, Bologna experts national teams. And we are doing this, we have been doing this uh, job since 2008. Of course, from this, uh, from this moment, we have already a lot of experience and a lot, lot of results that uh, we gathered. And uh, we prepared three brochures. I would like to show you. These are the brochures that we prepared. And these brochures are about what kind of work our Bologna experts have been done and are planning to do in the near future. Um, we published this brochure as well uh, on our intranet, so if you go to our website, you can find it. Um, uh, in this uh, brochure, you will find um, a, a very impressive list of activities that are covering uh, areas as implementation of qualification frameworks and the three cycle system, the recognition of study abroad and prior learning, quality assurance, uh, the use of uh, transparency tools, the ECTS DS labor training sessions, and many more. Uh, I would like to congratulate to the teams of uh, national teams of Bologna experts uh, and the national agencies who are involved in this process for this very uh, impressive work. And uh, I would like to say that uh, we are very positive regarding the, regarding the collaboration with the Tempus experts as well. And we find uh, this collaboration very fruitful uh, in, uh, in our work. We hope that this international community of experts will continue to be uh, reinforcing and uh, developing. Um, the other task that our Bologna experts have been doing uh, lately are the counseling regarding the ECTS and the DS labors. Uh, as, you, as you may know, the DS and the ECTS labors are labors of excellence. Uh, our Bologna experts have a very important role in counseling and advi giving advice to the applicants who are applying for this labor. In this year, we saw a quite uh, impressive increase in the number of uh, applications that we received for this, for this label. And uh, we got the feedback from the national agencies that the Bologna experts have worked a lot on, in this field. And we are very grateful for this. The, we also had two training seminars this year regarding this, uh, this role of the Bologna experts in uh, Brussels and in Vilnius. And we will have the results of the last labor selection uh, probably in December. The uh, assessment is undergoing right now. Uh, I would like to um, make an emphasis on that, that the, the labor holders are the, are promoting the best practices among the European universities and they are showing, they are like an example of how the implementation of the ECTS and the DS system should be uh, done. I would like to speak also a bit about the call for proposals that we published. Uh, together with the Commission. The co last call for proposal have been published in uh, August 2012. It is open now. It is open for application. Uh, in the Erasmus Centralized Action for which we are the responsible, uh, we have a new uh, priority that I would like to uh, speak about a bit. This, this priority is the Knowledge Alliance. Knowledge alliances, we mean, under knowledge alliances, we mean uh, cooperation between universities, research institutions, and business 
bodies, uh, uh, labor market participants. And the aim of such a cooperation is innovation. So I think that this priority is pretty much in line with the theme of this seminar, the research-based education, because this is our aim as well, to have innovation in higher education via this cooperation and to uh, foster innovation via higher education as well, so to promote um, creation of startups, new products and processes, etc. Uh, I would like to draw your attention as well to our Info Day that we will have very soon, 12th of November. You are invited to come if you can to Brussels, but you don't have to come because we will have a, a, a web stream uh, on that day. So if you go to our website, you can follow all the presentations uh, and you can get all the information uh, via our web streaming and you can even we will have a chat facility so you will have to you will be able to put us questions and you will receive the answers uh, during uh, during this day as well so uh, ladies and gentlemen I'm very much looking forward for this uh, discussions on this uh, research based education during this uh, two and a half days in Budapest and especially to all those experts related to its implementation, challenges, and opportunities for higher education institutions in Europe. Um, to conclude, I would like to warmly thank uh, to the university as well for the organization and the, to, to UNICA as well. I would like to say a few words in Hungarian, if I may. <laughs> um, Tisztelt rektor helyettesül, tisztelt kollégák, jelenlevők. Nagyon szépen szeretnénk köszönni az Ötvös Lorán Tudományi Egyetemnek a vendéglátást, a szervezést, a helyszín biztosítását, és én biztos vagyok abban, hogy ez a rendezmény is örökbíteni fogja az egyetem hírnevét. With this few Hungarian words, I hope somebody understood it. I hope so. I would like to wish you a very pleasant stay in, in the city, even if the weather is not ideal, but this is November, so we have to live with it. And uh, I would like uh, to wish you a very fruitful conference and seminar. Thank you.